Welcome back to The Witcher 3. Let's start doing some more quests around Skellige. First thing I'm going to do is a contract for missing miners, which the game seems to think is going to leave me dead since it's six levels above me and the name is all red. Supposed to scare me away, I suppose, but given how easy combat's been lately, I don't really think it's going to be much of an issue. So let's give it a shot. Greetings, Watcher. Hear about the missing miners. Might be able to help. What happened? Well, we'd heard tales of silver in the northern hills. And seeing as coins needed to ready long ships for raids, we sent a few lads to see how much truth was in the tales. And, well, they've yet to return. Might not be much silver in the hills, but there are monsters, definitely. I'll see if the miners came across any. Thank you, Watcher. Odd, that one. Okay, so where do we need to go? Oh, that's not too far away. Come on, Roach. Adventure time. Actually, before Adventure Time, it's appreciate the incredible beauty of the Skellige Isles time. Look at this. Ah, all the birds coming in from the left of the view. That just adds to the perfectness of this scene. Hey -ya. I don't know what I just ran past, but I'm not looking back. Miner's camp. Could find some clues. Footprints. Human. He had a rich vein, but something went wrong. So they did find what they were looking for. Yeah, they found the silver. Sounds like bears over there. Oh no, wolves. Hence grape shot. I've got beast oil on my blade, right? Yep. Come on. Rust moved away. Wounds caused by a blunt instrument. Rib cage smashed in. Someone crawled through here with a broken leg. fell these trees. Something else did. Something big. It's a troll. A rock troll looks like. Wham a wham. <laughs> Trolls. What what are trolls actually? What oil should I use? No, they're certainly not an insect or a necrophage hybrid, maybe? I'm not sure if I've ever fought one before. So they might just not be in my list. Oh, 
Wham Wham is an Augroid. Okay. Augroid Oil and Quen. Perfect. I am going to be using both. Approach on his territory. I wouldn't say they were asking for it, but I'm certainly not gonna kill this person for basically defending their home. From what you say, they were asking for trouble. I'll let it slide this time. But kill any other humans, and I'll come back and cut off your head. Understand? No! Words are words many! Hurt egg! Let me try again. Wham a wham man's again. I'll swish a swash a swunk you. <laughs> oh. No more troll wham. And this man take for be good man and no swish a swash. Oh, what? Huh? <laughs> what just happened? Did we not just have a conversation about how we weren't going to try to kill each other, and did he not just give me a present because I was a good person? Why did he then cave in my entire face two seconds after? The hell, wham -a wham 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 has got one hell of a punch. All right, let's try this again. Stop it. I want to talk. Oh. Damn. This is really a very high level quest. Seems like I die in basically one hit. Let's make sure I keep Quinn up. Stop it. I want to talk. Wait, I want to talk. From what? Okay. Okay, 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 there we go. Yeah, so that was definitely a bug. <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. Oh, wait a minute. I wonder if there's anything more in here. Maybe some chests? Some crafting ingredients. Why were there three containers of ashes in there? That's kind of creepy. Here we go, that's the good stuff. Superior White Rafford's decoction. No, I'm overburdened. I forgot I still need to sell stuff. Alright, dump some crap. Should be good enough. Yeah. I'm a pound underweight. I'll sell some stuff soon.
sailing. <laughs> Greetings, Watcher. Um, shouldn't there be an option to turn in the quest? Your miners are dead. Not one of you knew a troll lived there? We'd heard mention of it, but... But greed went out over reason. Not your place to judge us. What about the troll? Left him in peace. Advise you to do the same. <laughs> Turn card, you mean? What kind of monster slayer are you? Out of my sight. Ah, whatever, Not you too asshole. Many foreigners in the aisle? Let's do the next super high level quest. Missing Sun. 500 steps away. Let's see, should I fast travel there? Yeah, let's fast travel there. You have no respect for our customs. Not me, nor that way. You, Odin? I am. Hear about me, Sonny? Where should I look for your son? East of here. Midst the ruins of the fortress. He went there with some rogues from Pharaoh. Met him at the tavern. They filled his head with nonsense about some treasure. I said, Sonny, Pharaoh folk are liars to a man. You shouldn't fraternize with them. But he knew better. How'll I recognize him? All I know is he doesn't listen to his father. Pretty typical for his age. His name's Olve. A cheerful lad. A bit of a lisp. Nothing special about his looks. Except last I saw him he was wearing a yellow tunic. Lovely. None other like it in the village. Got it from me a year back. On his birthday. That ought to do it. I'll look around. No promises though. Like the grunting of a deer, only louder. Nice feral lads who went back to the woods. Why don't you? I don't know, but I'm afraid we shan't see him again. Oof! Why are you talking like that? Went down to the woods. Slow now. Got there. Water was running red with blood. I know. Someone might have been gotten fresh upstream. Never mind. Good at the trenches. We should ask Freya to make it so. Not sure if you could hear any of that in all the cross chatter, but those two were actually talking about. The castle ruins that I'm just about to go to right now. I love it when the. I'll just go to the menu to stop all the crosstalk. I love it when the like you can hear people actually talking about something related to the quest that I'm doing. It makes it feel like the quest is actually something real that's happening to the village and not just some like super gamey thing that exists just for me to complete. I like that. I like that a lot. God. I want to climb to the top of that mountain. It's so beautiful. It's this one right here. I wonder what the tallest mountain in all of Skellige is. Wait. I've actually recently been to an, quite possibly the tallest mountain in all of Skellige when I was doing that quest with Yennefer. Maybe that was the mountain, actually. I don't know. Fang and claw wounds all over the body. But those indicate feeding. He died from a blow to the head.
Those kind of look like hooves. It's hard to tell. There's something big in there. The fiend. Oh, hey. Okay, I'm actually gonna have to fight you, huh? This is gonna be a hard fight then, because you are like eight levels above me. Uh, morbid. A fiend. What is, what is a fiend? Um, a relic. Yep, morbid is inside of uh, the relic category. All right. The Morbid killed the Skellige Warriors without much trouble. It proved no match for the Witcher. <laughs> Are you sure about that? I haven't quite fought it yet. Relic Oil, Devil's Puffball, and Samum. Alright, well, I've got Devil's Puffball. I think I have Samum too, actually. Relic Oil and Devil's Puffball. Relic Oil. Devil's Puffball already got it in there. I have salmon? Oh, maybe I don't. I guess I don't. Alright, here we go. I did not even see its health bar go down. Okay, actually, its, it's health bar is going down. Yeah. Oh, it's actually, like, bleeding. It's actually taking... It's taking shit tons of damage. What's from? Seems like the bleeding was doing way more damage than... Oh, it's also healing over time. Uh, way more damage than, like, the sword blade hits. Alright, let's try... Enhanced Devil's Puff Ball. really ramming into that wall. Yeah, look at that bleeding damage. Why is it so high? I think it's from the oil. Because the oil has a certain percent chance to cause bleeding, I believe. Or something like that. Slow things down, just took some blizzard. I need to be extremely careful, because it's very likely that one hit will kill me. So I, I can't tank damage in any way. Look at that damage it's taking! 2,000? 2, 2,000? Take some more blizzard. Slow things down. Get some critical backstabs. Oh. I think it's gonna die from bleeding damage here. Uh, what? What just happened? Hypnotized. What? Ran off to its lair to lick its wounds. Need to track it down. Oh, you bastard. Alright, fine. This way. Well, before I leave. Eat only the entrails. Fussy. No Olve here. Maybe the fiend dragged him off. Is there a Witcher loot drop around here? Hmm. Might want to look around some. Hmm. Where would it be? Up above?
Oh, is this actually a doorway? <laughs> Not really. Filled in. Is there a way in there? Oh, hello. Is this it? Mastercrafted woven gauntlets. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Obviously for a different treasure hunt. Let's check it down. <clears throat> Cross to the other side. Box home. Killed a bear, apparently. Silver plated key, old yellowed letter. Oh, inheritance. It's a new quest. Guessing the quest is to read the letter, at least to begin with. Yana. As I write these words, you are six years old. I am 30. I am in my prime, but I know already I'll never teach you how to shoot a bow, nor how to ride a horse or care for a sword. I'll never take you on a raid, nor out fishing. I took a wound to my knee during- <laughs> You took a wound to your knee, was it an arrow? <laughs> I took a wound to my knee during the last raid. It's taken a turn for the worse. It shouldn't have taken more than a few days to heal over, but something got in my blood. Wounds full of pus. Stinks. I'm losing feeling. The druids say it's beyond their help. And that'll bleed to death if they cut off my leg. So I'm preparing for death. You're in for some tough years, lad. Our family's got a great many enemies. I've defended you against them. But now you'll be on your own. Perhaps someone will help you. And perhaps not. That's why I've had part of our goods hidden. An old Eula's house, under the floorboards. That way, no one can take it from you. No one can steal it. And you can dig it up, once you're all grown. I've asked your mother to give you this letter when you start your 18th spring. You take that silver, son. Buy yourself a fine blade, some armor, a horse. Raid the continent. Exact revenge on the men who did you wrong after my death. Make me proud. I never told you this, but I've always felt it. I love you, Jan. I hope one day we'll meet in the halls of Freya's eternal green garden, and you'll tell me about your life. The life I was not able to see. You have my blessings, son. I'm pretty sure I pronounced Jan's name two different ways. Jan, Jane. Jane, it's probably Jane. Can I actually, like, not steal the inheritance, but actually give it to the person who deserves it? I'd feel bad actually taking it. I think that's it over there, huh? You know what, I should... Whoops, I didn't mean to take that. I should probably meditate to get my stuff back. Is that it? Yep, there it is. Won't get away this time. get hit by that. Oh. 
shit. Oh, that actually didn't kill me. I'm really surprised that didn't kill me. harder time with the fight this time, but yeah, it looks like the poison's doing, like, almost all the work. It's weird. I wonder if, like, the poison damage doesn't... Like, even though I'm underleveled for this, I wonder if the poison damage will never be underleveled. Maybe it's always, like, it scales perfectly with the level of the enemy you're fighting, so that's why the poison's working, maybe? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh! Slow things down with Blizzard. Oh. Shit. Back into a corner. Poison, this might be it. Think it's about to die. Nope, didn't quite die. take on enemies that are like eight levels above me. I love it. That was a good fight. Good, good fight. Long Claw, Fiend Trophy. I bet the trophy's pretty good. I know I'm overburdened. Great. Let's take a look at the trophy and the weapon. 5% bonus experience from monsters. Hmm. That is the same as the Leshen trophy. I still think the other trophy's better. Uh, this one. The Earth Elemental one. 10% chance to dismember. I mean, it's worth double the amount, so I'm assuming that means it's better, too. Yeah, I'll go back to that. Long Claw, level 17, actually. That's weird, because it's like a level 20, 28, 29 quest, but it gave me a level 17 weapon. That would have been an excellent weapon at level 17. Yeah, that's a really good weapon. But I'll stick with the Cat School gear. Now I need to dump some garbage. This heavy armor weighs a crap ton. It's also worth a lot, though. Hmm. 
Well, I can ride Roach over Burden, so I guess I can maybe just make my way to a store. Oh, what am I doing? I killed the thing. I still need to search the lair. Never mind. Ah, there we go. I just dumped a couple of the saddles that I still had on me. Those are worth just a moderate amount, about 300 coins, but they weigh like 8 pounds. So the value to weight ratio is not nearly as good as keeping the armor. So, I dumped them. <gasps> is this the person? Yellow tunic. Hmm. Must be Ove. Avenged those boys. There's that at least. I wonder if it's worth exploring this little town. Boxholm. Seems like this place is ruined. Come on. What's that fire over there? What's in that direction? Nothing that I see on the map other than maybe that. Maybe that building's it? Huh. Well, I'll probably explore that some other time. Let's focus on the quests for now. These continental dandies come a strutting then we hey there. got dragged there. Greetings. Any tidings? Bad ones. Your son's dead, killed by a fiend. All I could do was avenge him. I told him, Sonny, nothing good ever came out of Pharaoh. Stay home. Your time will yet come for adventures and glory. Your reward. This gold brought me no luck. May it serve you better. Okay, what quest should we do now? What about the family blade? I was doing that a while ago and then I stopped following it. All the way over there. Alright, let's go to Fearsdal. Pick up the quests at the notice board, and then probably head over here to the Family ba Blade quest. Oh, there's also two exclamation marks here. Grand those swords, but I can fairly trust the axe. Greetings again. See? I had no intention of cheating you. Your coin. Oh, you! You're lucky. I'm not exactly known for being forgiving. Still, take my advice. Find a new profession. Wow, he actually gave me my money back. Well, well. Calm down. I'll give it to us straight. God damn it. It how. Any shopkeepers around here? Oh, there's a blacksmith. Yeah, because I want to sell my stuff. Had teeth like put around well, here. This long at least. I tore my companion to shreds. How are things? Business good? Why wouldn't it be? Seeing as I make the best arms in the Isles. Just look. Iron ore from the bowels of Mount Ardfond. Where giants once tore up the earth. Then my forge fire blazing unbroken for six generations. Its care passed from father to son. And every day come dawn, Hara, my youngest, she pricks her finger and squeezes a drop of her blood into the water I use to temper the blades. Ew. I didn't need to know that part. Anything new in Fearstall? You? Yeah. Nothing. This ain't the continent. Fashions don't change with the melting snows. We live like our fathers and grandfathers lived. Fishing, hunting and raiding. And so shall we live. To Ragnarok and beyond. Hmm. 
Let me have a look. All right, let me do some inventory management, and I'll be right back. There we go. Just sold him, like, about 1,200, 1,300 worth of armor. And some weapons, too. Didn't see anything I wanted to buy in his store, so let's go just sell him some stuff and go. So long. Smooth sailing. Hey! Hmm? Ah, pff. Come on, Roach. All right, family blade time. I gotta get my stuff back. Let's meditate for a bit. Kill the thieves. Alright, here we go. Forget how disgusting the grape shot deaths are. Their entire bodies just explode. How long are you gonna make me wait? Found the thief's journal. Guessing that's gonna. Oh, oh, <laughs> poison hurt me. Guessing the journal's gonna. Got their nest here. Gonna help me track down the blade, probably. Let's take a look at it. Spinar. I got good news and bad. I'll start with the bad. Me and Gimre? Me and Gimre went to Lugos. And gave us the welcome custom demands, mead and meat to plenty. But as soon as we unwrapped Coolio from its leather and asked how much he'd give us for it, he ripped the blade from our hands and knocked us both on our asses, calling us thieves. He then sent us running from his house, hounds at our heels. Gimra runs slow, so they got him. That's fine. Only means a bigger cut for us. Now here's the good news. We still got the sword. And now I know how to get rid of it. I talked to Steinfin, my brother-in-law, and he'll sell Coolio in Novigrad and split the coin with us after. I know, I know, but I swear, you can trust him. I'll give him the sword on the beach by the whale cemetery on Ardskellig. I'll go alone, so as not to attract attention. Watch out. Lugos might have sent a messenger to Care Troll to inform them of a theft. Just in case, hole up somewhere. Maybe with Aunt Hilda? She's not right in the head. But you can rely on her anyway. Okay, so it's still on Art Skellig, right? Hasn't gone to Novigrad yet? Said he's gonna wait by the cemetery? All the way out there, huh? Okay. Maybe not the way I want to go. We deal hey, with our a own witcher. monsters. <laughs> Wait, did someone just say Witcher help? Wonder if he's as strong as he looks. Hmm? God's Need dumb. Sutton? 
go back where you come from. Didn't somebody just call for me? Sure. Don't know ye. Don't want to know ye. Who just called for me? And then what? Hmm? Then nothing. Never you mind. This here's a job for a witcher. As you wish. It's weird. This quest wasn't marked on the map. What's the problem? A beast. It attacked me. Me and my comrade. We'll got the fucker. Aye, but not us. The Witcher. Why bother the witch man? Like as not it were a pack of wolves. But they got you so afeard you shat yourself and sore specters. Let me round up a few sturdy lads and we'll... Won't be needed. The Witcher will help, right? You shan't let us down. Feral folk, dumb as stumps. I feel like I'm being led into a trap or something. You from Pharaoh? Come a long way. That just happened. Came to Fairsdale to trade a load of hides from Svorlag. Svorlag? Thought you were from Pharaoh. Svorlag's on Speakerog. Uh, ah, well, you see, first I sailed from Pharaoh to Svorlag. Traded some loot from the continent for heights there, then came here. Pharaoh to Spikarog to Ard Skellig. <laughs> Roundabout journey. I hadn't much choice, had I? A merchant sails where the trade's good, not where it's close at hand. That hunter, could he be right? Maybe it was just wolves. I knows what I saw. Besides, who's he to say? Those drum and blaggards don't know shite from shoelaces. That particular blaggard was wearing on crate colors. You sure about that? Sure than sure. Ugh, doesn't matter. That lot's not to be trusted either. Monsters attacked me. I need a witcher, not some hunter. Fine. What's this about? Tell me. Me and my mate were on our way here to Fearsdale with a cart full of hides. Suddenly we heard a screech. Our horse got spooked, started kicking, and then monsters jumped out of the bushes. My mate drew the short straw. They got him first. By some miracle, I managed to get away. What kind of monsters? Nekuks. No doubt about it. What? You know, sharp claws, animal skulls on their heads, attacking swarms. Neckers? Yeah, Neckers. Near 20 of them. So will you help? Will you kill the bastards? That road needs to be clear. Aim to travel it again soon. I'll help you. Grand! Knew a witcher wouldn't let me down. Not like some waffly prick from Clan Drumdund. Or Clan Drummond. Good luck, witcher. Fare you well. Wait. Where should I look for you? What? Once I finish, where will I find you? Oh, oh aye, aye. Um, here. I mean, in, in the tavern nearby. I'll await you there. Fine. See ya. <sighs> this guy... Is so damn suspicious. It caught him by surprise that I even wanted to know where to meet him again. As if he doesn't even care if we meet again, because he doesn't want to meet again. I think he's just trying to lead me into a trap. Ooh, you! Probably an ambush. Alright, well let's see where that quest is. Ah, uh, here it is. Contract Skellige's Most Wanted. Level 29. Hmm. And it's super close by, too. All right, let's go investigate. Wonder if he's as strong as he looks. Koira, doggy. That's hard for. I am. Need to look around. Gash is like claw marks in its flanks, but it's also got lockjaw and a warped spine, like it might have died of tetanus. So they staged it then. I guess I took a horse that had already died and made it look like it was ripped apart. Must be the comrade of the fellow from Pharaoh. Hmm. Odd. 
Looks like he died of old age, not because a necker ripped him apart. Yeah, I knew it was an ambush. Bring it on, come on. Got archers up in the rocks or something? Oh! As if witchers don't have the reflexes to avoid a rock. Come on. That was close. Nice aim, at least. Something tells me that was no accident. Better investigate. Furrow looks fresh. Boulder must have rolled through here. Boulder started here. I think I see some tracks. Necker tracks. Clear prints. Wait, Neckers. Neckers? That couldn't have been a Necker that did that. There's no way. Wolves. Do I have beast oil on? Yep. going on here was this part of the plan did they know I would know it was a fake and that I would be suspicious and then I would come looking for the person responsible and even that was part of the plan now I'm just downright curious Andragas what the someone couldn't have just walked through here they would have been killed by the Andragas themselves Okay. Weird. I'm even more curious now. Sectoid oil. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. These are going to be really freaking hard. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know if I can do this. Take Blizzard. Shit! Jesus! Chug potions! Chug! 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 Oh! Oh! Fuck! I can't do this. There's no way. There's no freaking way I can do this. Okay. Well, I just made a cut there to save you a lot of time. You see, what happened is I fought those Andrega enemies and I fought them for like, I'm not even joking, about 15 to 20 minutes straight probably. The amount of damage that I did to them was absurdly small, they were absurdly fast, there was barely any room to work around in there, and I ended up just chugging every single potion I had in my entire inventory, just to use them as heals because of the fact that any potion I imbibe it gives me 25% health. I took every damn potion I had and I'm amazed I managed to last like 15 to 20 minutes. I'm pretty proud of myself, but the most I was able to do is get both Andregas down to about 50% health, and that's it. 
That fight is unbelievably hard because of how high level those enemies are. I can't do it. It's almost impossible. It would probably literally take like a half hour. And that would be extraordinarily difficult. So, all I did was reload my save from before I got trapped inside of there, and I think I'm going to have to come back to this quest later. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to go back on the Family Blade quest and look for the thieves near the graveyard. <laughs>